Hi there, Bob Wormsley here from Insidium. This is Top Tip Tuesday, and today we're going to be jumping into Teo, and I'm going to show you how we can create a really fast but realistic meadow scene. And this meadow, the grass, can be instanced over any scene object. So let's start the clock, and we'll get cracking. Here we are on the scene then, and we have a TF terrain with a noise generator, which has just created this kind of undulating ground which is going to be the bed of our meadow and we've got this basic material on there so let's create this grass we're going to go to insidium teo now we can bring in teo grass here we are and this object says where do you want to generate the grass on so obviously we want to let's just close that up we want to generate it on our tf terrain so if we go on here you can see that look we can generate this spline grass layer very very quickly and there it is and then our settings for our spline grass layer are down here so we can reduce the density of the grass that's one thing we can do and then we can go into the actual settings down here it's set to be a spline object we can actually make it generate polygons instead let's hit n b to see the lines so there we can create these polygon blades which are fully adjustable or you can use grass to create instances of any custom object and when you're making grass you're much better for realism to create tufts of grass of multiple blades um, so what we'll do is that let's just highlight this grass layer and delete it now it's gone and what we're going to do, we could build a tuft of grass in Teo, in Teo plant. But actually, there is a preset grass tuft already here. So let's just click on this. And let's just dolly in a bit. And what this is, is a Teo plant. And it is in the plant layers. It has a growth point and it has a leaf. And the leaves have been sorted out to be these blades of grass so that's what we're going to use let's just put some materials on it before we instance this on our ground though so we'll go to materials in our grass tuft and let's go to our material manager and look we've got two different colored grasses here let's put one in and then we'll put the other in so we're going to get a variation of color on those blades excellent we'll shut down that down now let's move out so now what we can do is go to our Teo grass and instead of picking a spline layer or a polygon layer we can just drag in this grass tuft and now look it's instancing them on our ground so let's have a look we want to highlight our grass tuft to get the settings we want this to be super super efficient so let's pick multi instances as the kind of cloning method and then look the frequency we can ramp this up and have more and more tufts now it's the same tuft we need to make it look a little bit different so look we can set some scale variation of maybe 10 percent and then let's in the heading rotation let's rotate them by 360 they're all going to rotate by 360 in the heading so it doesn't look like there's any difference but now we can add a hundred percent rotation variation and now they've all got a slightly different heading angle so even though it's the same tuft it's going to look slightly different excellent so that's already looking pretty good let's add something else let's say we want some flowers in this wild meadow so let's go back to our insidium teo and what we'll do is open the teo preset browser let's click on that and we've got look set to flowers let's have a look we want a wild meadow flower so we could go with maybe a poppy or a daisy would be good buttercups would be good let's do a buttercup so the buttercup comes into our scene and let's go to our teo grass let's drag in our buttercup plant as another grass layer and now we've got loads of them and there's a, a few problems here first of all they are too big and there's too many of them so look we can just reduce this density down a bit but this global density look it's also reducing the density of our grass that's not what we want if we select the buttercup we can reduce this frequency down to maybe 0.1 percent and look now we've got far fewer that's looking good let's go to these and let's add some scale variation 
not too much something like that let's again do the rotation trick so 360 in the heading and then add a bit of rotation variation 100% and now they're all facing slightly different ways so there we have some flowers that's looking good and we could also we could even do look let's do one more we'll go to insidium and let's go to teo let's go to the preset browser we'll add some daisies click on that we'll go to teo grass we can add our daisy to our grass layer and there are our daisies and that's probably fine um, let's just add some scale variation to the daisy let's add the rotation trick on the heading and 100% variation and there we go and very quickly we have created even in the viewport what looks like a pretty convincing grass meadow using the Teo tools.